An iPhone or an iPad makes a great way to take photos at get-togethers with family and friends. But wouldn't it be great if you could share a photo album of your time together that everyone could contribute to? I'm Donald Bell, and I'm gonna show you how to work with shared photo albums in iOS 8. This is a feature that works with any iPad or iPhone as long as it's updated to iOS 8. This feature works on any recent iPad or iPhone, but you'll need to make sure it's updated to iOS 8. Unlock your device and go to Settings, then iCloud, and make sure that the iCloud photo sharing is on, at least for shared albums. Now open up the Photos app. Tap Select, then tap on the photos you'd like to group together as a shared album. Then tap the Share icon and select iCloud Photo Sharing. If you don't see this as an option, then you need to go back and make sure you have iCloud Photo Sharing turned on. From here, tap the Shared Album field and add a new album name. Then add the people you'd like to share the album with. Add a comment if you like, then tap Post. The people you share with will receive an email with a link to subscribe to the shared album. Once they subscribe, the album will appear in the shared tab of the photo app for everyone you share with. Now that alone is pretty cool, but what's even better is that all the people you share that album with can contribute their own photos to the shared album. So you throw a party, everyone takes pictures, and then they can all contribute to the shared album to collect everything. No computers required, no third party software. But there's a catch. Only people with iCloud accounts can view and share these albums. Doesn't matter if it's on an iPad or an iPhone or even a Mac that's running iPhoto or Aperture, but you have to have an iCloud account. I guess Apple doesn't want Android people at your party. So there you go. That's how to create shared photo albums on an iPad or iPhone running iOS 8. For more tips on how to make the most of your tech, head over to cnet.com slash howto. For CNET, I'm Donald Bell.